Hi everybody, my name is Jamie Barcelona with IDA TV. We're here at the East West Players Theater in downtown Los Angeles for the premiere of Chinglish. I am standing with Mr. Jeff Locker. Hey! <laughs> I don't know why I clap. <laughs> That's just a natural reaction at this point. How you doing, Jamie? I'm doing good. Congratulations. Opening night was amazing. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Uh, this is actually my third Chinglish opening night, oh I think. <laughs> but it's different every time, and LA is my hometown. Uh, so it's particularly exciting to do it here where I actually have friends that can come and see it and mentors um yeah i did so i did chinglish before at, at portland center stage uh and syracuse stage was a co-production so both both had different opening nights but it was both in towns where i didn't know anybody oh my goodness <laughs> so the first time doing it was obviously like wow I'm, I'm doing this play that i love so much and it's david henry huang who's one of my idols and i actually get to play like kind of myself like a, a, a white guy obviously <laughs> But I get to speak Mandarin and English on stage in this amazing play. And then now I get to do it in LA at East West Players, which I've dreamt about for a long time. So it's I feel amazing. This is great. Oh my goodness, you were amazing. Oh, and it's ah. it's wonderful that finally you can bring it home and that all your family and friends and mentors can come watch it. Yeah. The million dollar question is, how does a Caucasian man like you have such amazing proficiency in Chinese? That's what everybody I'm sure is wondering. So can you break that for us? So I was walking in Chinatown one day and I got hit by a bus. <laughs> and when I woke up, I spoke, no, that joke, oh that's the first time that joke has ever kind of flown. But I think you might have believed me for a second there. Anything that you really want the audience that they can, they should, you want them to take away? Any insights from the themes of the show? Well, there are a couple angles you could take that. I mean, like I live in Hollywood, right? So now we talk about US China co-production and everybody I know who's in Hollywood is like, I want to get some Chinese money. I don't quite say it like that, but like they know me and they're like, oh, you should, you could probably help us or you should get into US China co production. So that topic in this town is really hot. How do these two cultures come together? And you're gonna see, you probably see a lot of news stories where the American side complains about the Chinese side didn't come through with the money or we had a press conference and then the blah, 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 or the contracts. And there's a lot of like, well, the Chinese this and that. And you know what? For every, person here who talks about the Chinese, whether it's Hollywood or a small town or a company, there's a Chinese person somewhere going, Americans, da 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 da. So on a local scale, US-China co-production is a relative topic. But really, this is a story about understanding. So we all struggle. I mean, I struggle with understanding people in LA. You know, I, I mean, I've had conversations with like white people. I'm like, what do you, how do you think the way you think? But I think at the crux of this is, is about it's it's about it's about two different very very different cultures coming to a middle ground and realizing we have much more in common than than we realize we understand love we understand friendship and those are two of those things that you watch this show and you go yeah yeah so for me that's what the show is about no matter how different we are there's always a way to find common ground if you give if you compromise and you give a little. So I, so I tell you know these big companies, Hollywood studios who are like, we want Chinese money, but we want to do it our way. That's not how the world works. That's not the world we live in anymore. So it's exciting to, it's exciting to do the show with these themes, but it's also exciting to see how shows like this are actually changing people's perceptions. So I'm just glad to work. <laughs> Thank you again, Jeff. Wonderful, you, wonderful job. Thank Yay. you. I'm Jamie Barcelona with IDA TV.